Come on. Oh, got it. Lost a little bit of edibility there from getting gasoline on me, but I did get it, and it does seem to be spreading out, which is good. Now I just need to find a way to ignite it. I mean, I saw a few lighters lying around, but considering this bread can barely move in a straight line without ending up in the dirt, I highly doubt it can operate a lighter. Hello everybody, I'm Echo, and welcome back to I Am Bread. Oh god, I don't want to do this. This this game is an absolute journey into masochism, there is no doubt about that. I We're moving on to the garden level, there's not much to say. I don't want to think back to the last time I played this. <laughs> Oh god, it's like a traumatic experience. It's terrible. We have the garden level, and then one more level after this. As a quick refresher, let's go ahead and read this. Treatment notes. I visited Mr. Merton today. Despite his dour dourness from, me from the medication we administered yesterday, he went ahead with this, with this session. He was very adamant that I detail exactly what I saw when I dropped off his car, and if I had seen any slices of toast in the garage. I didn't recall seeing any toast, though once I mentioned that some of his appliances were turned on, he became very alarmed. I tried to calm him down by mentioning that I did place his bins outside while I did look and while I did look at the loaf, and it seems like just an ordinary loaf of bread. He relaxed for a few seconds until I specified I left the loaf on top of the bins. Mr. Mern. Mm. This sent Mr. Merton into a panic as he lashed out and attempted to escape the room. Unfortunately, I had to end this session early by calling security in to restrain him. Clearly, the medication isn't working. Mr. Murren still truly believes his bread is somehow taking on a life of its own to become toast. When you say it out loud, it becomes clear how far his mental state has fallen. I think it's best if I hold on this, ho if I hold off on the session tomorrow while I investigate some alternate treatments, as the current methods are evident, evidently, not working. Two questions. One, why would you leave the bread on top of the bin? Two, can you explain exactly what other treatments? Are you going to lobotomize the guy? I feel like I wouldn't be lobotomized after playing this goddamn game. Oh, right. I didn't turn the... Turn the button icons off to get a thumbnail. I'm gonna try and go for the plan I had last episode when I tried this level in trying to follow the fence around and I still think the grill is my best chance at getting turned into toast. Though it's not gonna be easy by any means of the word. Do not ask how I'm already on 14% edibility. And I am not traveling on top of the fence. That is a death sense waiting to happen. It's a freaking wind in this level. Half the time, because of the camera, I can't even see what the hell I'm doing. Half the time, I just have to guess. Which is so goddamn infuriating. Okay, I'm on top of the garden shed again. Oh god, that wasn't too difficult. I do think somehow I'm managing to get better at controlling this godforsaken game, but uh, I mean, having some control over having barely any is not that much of an improvement, especially when you're dealing with a floppy loaf of bread that you don't even know how to navigate properly. Like honestly, I don't understand how the forward momentum works. Like, do I hold up if I want to go up and sideways if I want to go sideways? But what happens when I'm going, like, right to left, left to right? It's 
depending on the orientation of the buttons, I think it changes. I swear to God, you useless slice of brain. I... Seriously? Seriously? You're gonna get stuck between the goddamn fence and the bin? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's already driving me up the walls. Oh, I ended up on the other fence without even realizing it. Ooh, that could have gone very poorly if I let go at the wrong time. Okay, trying to orientate this freaking camera in a way that makes it so I can actually see what the frigly freak's going on. Oh, gonna lose it. I swear to God, this stupid loaf of... Well, you're not even a loaf, you're just a slice. The loaf is probably more capable than your dumbass. No! Mm. God, bad timing on that one. Come on, pull yourself up, you dumbass! Mm. You Stupid slice of bread! Oh, it's already driving me up the walls. I'm not sure how long I can do this shit for. Oh my god, it's so infuriating. It just drives you mad. I'm about ready to just try and throw myself literally to the wind and see what the hell happens. Maybe I'll end up in a good place. Maybe I'll end up in the freaking pond again. You know? At this point in this series, I feel for YouTubers like Captain Sauce and Jacksepticeye who played and beat this game such a long time ago. I feel for them, because this game is an absolute act in masochism. Oh, Christ. The worst part is, I can barely keep a hold of my godforsaken controller because it's so warm in here already. Oh, uh, you've only been recording for 25 minutes. What the hell is already so warm in here? You know, I could have chosen just about any game to put on the schedule. Like, any other game than I Am Bread. Like, I have Slime Rancher, Witcher 3, Ark, even though Octodad, uh, more Borderlands, Unraveled. House Flipper, Stardew Valley, Don't Star, PC Build, Gungeon, South Park, Stick of Truth, or the other one, 60 Seconds, Stranded Deep, Kingdom New Lands, Don't Touch Anything. So many other games I have that I could have put on the schedule, but I choose to put this masochistic fuck of a game on the schedule. Oh, I'm gonna be glad when it's over. To break something. <laughs> I'm about to fucking break something. I swear to god. I'm pretty sure all my equipment equipment was taking bets on who would get a fist through it because they saw I was about to play this game. The only reason I've improved it all at controlling this useless slice of bread is simply because of the amount of different times I've had to restart the level and do the same goddamn thing over and over and over and over. You know the definition of insanity is repeating the same thing over and over and over and over again and expecting a different result? That's the definition of insanity. So... Yes, I'm going insane. I thought I already went insane trying to beat Call of Cthulhu. Or beating it, technically. Yeah, I've already beat the game and recorded all the episodes. Just gotta edit them. I I'd rather edit, like, all of next week's videos than deal with this crap. You know, I'm pretty sure the creators of this game made another game. Made a few games. I'm pretty sure Studio has a tendency to, um, find, uh, small, like, game ideas through game jams and offer the person that made it, like, a bunch of funding to make the game a reality. I'm pretty sure they made, like, um, 
I am fish, I believe. And the main reason they took it was probably because it's, you know, clearly meant to be an inspiration from I am bread. From what I've seen, it's extremely frustrating, but I haven't seen much more from it, so, you know, the project might have gotten cancelled, I'm not sure. Because I haven't really heard a whole lot about it in recent days. But I mean, I don't know how long it took I am bread to be made. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> there's not checkpoints. I hate this. I managed to get past a, a, a thing. I can't remember what it's called. I, I called it the correct thing earlier, but now I can't remember. I managed to get past it finally, which is nice. I wonder if I could traverse up there. Probably not. The wind will blow me off. Being blown off would actually be a nice thing. The wind would send me further down the rabbit hole of insanity that is this just infuriating act of masochism. Oh no. I see a box of matches on top of that grill. Not on top of it, but above it. Please tell me I don't have to light the goddamn grill. That is will be the most difficult thing ever. Could I just cook myself on the fire? No, I don't think I'll- I don't think I have the edibility to burn. I don't think I can allow myself to burn at all. I think I'm gonna have to get this correct. Like, I can't let my, uh, my edibility drop much more. Otherwise, I won't have enough leniency when it comes to cooking. Okay, here we go. Uh, I don't want to do this, because this could end this entirely half-decent run. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's get ourselves propped up against the wall first. And let's begin this journey. Try and keep yourself focused on the controls. No, 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 no. I swear to God. Oh! That was entirely luck. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Just, just lean up against it. Stop moving. Oh, the music cut out appropriately there. Oh, that was entirely luck that I managed to land on this goddamn guy's car. Oh, I hate this person so much. I now understand why this bread is deciding to torment him. Oh, not much leniency anymore. I at least had some, but now I have absolutely zero when it comes to edibility. I cannot let it drop anymore, otherwise I am totally screwed. Oh, I don't want to do this. Is there any other? No. From here, there is nothing. I have nothing. I have to toss myself onto the sign, and I highly doubt this bread is going to toss itself anywhere. Because it's a shitty, loafy thing. I hate it. Ah, ah, ah. That was so good. That was such a good run. And now I have to restart. I don't wanna, I don't wanna die. Oh my god, that stupid loaf. Getting on the car isn't a blessing, it's a curse, because you have to try and get off it. Oh. Okay. Okay, after taking a quick break... Oh, I am here. I am so close. I tried to get onto the car for a few minutes, because I realized you could turn it on. And use that to cook yourself. But I'd rather... N I, I tried forever and I could not get it to work. I could... Well, I couldn't get to the car to begin with, so... Okay. Now I just have to strike a match and drop it. Okay, grab the match. Huh? <gasps> Why do you slide so much? You sorry, loafy sack. Okay. And drop it. Did it go? Oh, God. Don't want to have to go down there. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Let's just grab it. 
and toss it off. Just great. Did I really just do that? Oh, great. I only have one other chance at this. Okay. No. Oh, please, please, please just get on to the top layer. Okay. Okay. I nearly knocked the freaking thing off. The freaking striker part of the matchbox off. But I have a match. I have the I have it here on the grill. This can't go wrong. Okay, let go of it. And it's not doing anything. Why is it not doing anything? Okay, let's just try and cook ourselves on it. Okay, 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 come on. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Now get the other side. Okay. Come on. God, why is this gotta be so freaking difficult? Okay, okay, just flip over onto it. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. No, no, no. Click the other side. Please, please, please. Oh my god, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Next level, next day, I don't care. Get me the hell away from that place. Oh, I hate the garden. I'm pretty sure it's regarded to be one of the most difficult levels. One of the major parts is the freaking wind sometimes just goes through fences. Like, I'd go over one part at w in one run and have no problems, but then go over it in a different run and suddenly I get blown off the fence. After a night of distress shouting about a loaf of bread needing to be destroyed, the patient in question, Mr. Merton, was able to overpower two security guards at 8.37 a.m. this morning while breakfast was being delivered. He made his way through the, through the facility and left and left through a hatch in the service lift. Mr. Murden was last seen running across a car park where he subsequently jumped the fence. The security guards called 999 at 8.55 a.m., at which point Mr. Murden had already left the premises. His therapist and all authorities have since been notified and are currently coordinating a search of the local area. Great. We fully push him off the deep end, and he is going to come after us now. Petrol station. Oh my god. Why am I in a pe petrol station? Are we like following this guy? What am I in? I can't even tell what exactly I'm in. Okay. How am I supposed to become toast? I mean, I can see one very specific way to become toast, but I'm not sure if it's possible. How do we get down from here? Oh, there's like a sign there. Okay, let's try this. Really? Really, bread? Really? Just restart. He seriously just flung himself in the complete opposite direction of the freaking sign. How do you mess that up? Oh, it's already driving me off the deep end again. Okay, I'm on the sign. Oh, what the hell? Why am I getting hurt? That was weird. I was getting hurt for some reason. Yeah, I think we're in Europe, because I'm pretty sure that's the European money symbol, right? Uh, pounds, I believe, is what it is in a lot of Europe. Okay, so we're not in America, which is interesting. There's nothing to- there was absolutely nothing to indicate that, but whatever. Oh, uh, you know what? No, there was something to indicate we weren't in America. The fact that Mr. Murden was living in an absolute crap hole of an apartment, and yet he was still able to afford freaking therapy. Okay, I'm on the skateboard. If I can just stop moving two seconds, reorientate myself, and get out of this goddamn pool. Oh, I'm on the car. 
Thank Christ, I'm on the car. Okay. I don't think I can cook myself on the car, because I'm pretty sure there's only one intended method to get yourself cooked in this level. I just need to not screw up, and I will make it to the end of this game. This is the last level. I just need to not be a dumbass and get myself killed. Come on. Oh, got it. Lost a little bit of edibility there from getting gasoline on me, but I did get it, and it does seem to be spreading out, which is good. Now I just need to find a way to ignite it. I mean, I saw a few lighters lying around, but considering this bread can barely move in a straight line without ending up in the dirt, I highly doubt it can operate a lighter. I don't want to go for the Hail Mary of the freaking wheelbarrow. Oh, that was so goddamn lucky. That could have gone so severely wrong. I just got to get out of this goddamn wheelbarrow. And not ride a brick to my death. Try and reorientate the camera a bit. Um... See, I don't know what's safe and what's not. I think basically anything that's considered ground is not safe. Especially now. Okay, I'm on the sign. And I now am almost certain I need to play hopscotch on freaking traffic cones. Are you Can I knock the sign over? Let me test if this ground is safe at all. Nope. Not safe at all. I didn't lose any percentage there, though. I'm pretty sure I gained percentage. How the hell am I supposed to do this? Oh, no. This. This wings. Oh, dear Christ. Oh, dear God, this is not going to end well for me. I ended up back in the wheelbarrow. That's not great. It's better than ending up on the freaking ground. I noticed that this thing here has a top to it, so I want to try and get there. Oh, it is not going to be easy. I'm on the underside of the wheelbarrow. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Just don't screw it up. You can't screw this up at this point. All you have to do is reach up and pull the thing. Just reach up and pull the thing. I swear to God, if you get stuck... Oh? Oh? Oh, well, there's one half of it figured out. Good to know, okay. So we have the ignition, now we just need the fuel. Oh, I think it'll be a bit easier to get over to the fuel pump from here than it will to get to the fuel pump than here. Please don't prove me wrong, game. I had it, and I managed to screw it up. At the very end of the finish line, I might as well have been to the freaking pump and I managed to screw it up because the goddamn fucking controls just screwed me. Oh, I swear to God, this game is driving me off the deep end. The only reason I don't just quit. Is because I know this is the last level, and after this, I can be done with this. I don't want to have to come back. I want to finish it, but I'm gonna lose my freaking mind trying. I had spent close to two hours, a good 30 minutes without recording because it, I just couldn't do it. 
I needed time to try and do it without the camera rolling to see if that changed anything. It didn't. But, um, I tried for a good while, and I just couldn't do it. And I'm running out of I'm running out of time to record, so I took the invincibility mayo to get myself to this point, and it still took me nearly five goddamn minutes. Just turn it on. Just turn- blow this place up, please. Thank god. Thank Christ, please send me to the bowels of hell where this freaking loaf belongs. Oh. Well, that was the gas station. And we're toasted. Thank Christ, please move me on to the last freaking area. So I can be done with this game and never see it again. To whom it may concern, it was the bread. It's always been the bread. It needs to become toast and it will stop at nothing. My house was start, but it won't be the end. I was forced to escape the therapy barn. I should have destroyed the bread while I had a chance. Now there's been an explosion across town and I know it's the bread. I'm going to find that cursed loaf and end this once and for all. Mr. Merton. Okay. I don't have that ability. Thank Christ, I don't have that ability. I just have to make it out of this trunk. Oh, well, that's one way to lose. Oh, I swear to God, this takes forever as well. I'm gonna absolutely be livid. Oh, is that Mr. Murden up front? And am I partially glitched into his trunk? I think so. God, he's driving recklessly. It's making it impossible for me to get up to the front to freaking murder him. Oh my god, his license plate. Hold on. His license plate is bread. Oh, that is amazing. That is incredible and ironic. Okay, I'm on the back of the trunk. Okay, let's go. Get this motherfucker. I'm tired of this shit. I don't care if what I don't care whether or not I am going to be edible. That doesn't matter. At this point, it is personal. Can I drop ooh, can I drop in on his head? That would be funny. Drop in on his head and make him crash. Jesus Christ, I'm practically flying at this point. Hello, I'm coming. Honey, loaf's here. Oh, Christ, please don't fall in. I don't think I can fall in. Oh, oh, I'm here, motherfucker. I am here to murder you. Oh, 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 oh where am I? Uh, sir? Oh my god, look at him. He's deranged at this point. Sir, sir, do you not see the bread hopping on your hood? May have to get up in his face. I... Ow. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is it doing to this bread? It's pulling the bread like Laffy Taffy. Uh. Uh. Help. 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 Someone. Please. This wasn't meant to happen. Please help. Help. Someone. Anyone. Okay, well, I have a new problem. After I got banished to Shadow Realm by the Wiper Blades, I then returned, but the game sound is completely gone. And I mean, like, completely gone. I have, like, fully restarted the game. Like, went back to the home menu on the PlayStation. And then reloaded the game. Like, it brought me back to the main menu and everything. And the game sound isn't back. It, it My headphones are working. Because I can hear the PlayStation home screen music. Just for some reason... All game sound has completely vanished from existence, and I don't know why. This is probably the game's final F.U. before I leave and never return.
Come on, come on. Yes, slide in. I'm in his back seat now. You know, get rid of me now, bitch. I'm in your car. I just wish there was game sound. I don't know why there isn't. It sounds perfectly fine. But for some reason, I don't have any game sound. And I don't know why. Game's like, oh, you finally made it to the end after this entire journey. You made it to the end. Well, too bad. I'm. Do I at least get to see the credits? I am bred. Wow. That is a kick in the dick. Like, a major kick in the dick. I make it all that way just to get tossed into the Shadow Realm and lose the ability to hear. I don't know. I have no clue. But for right now, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, um, this has been I Am Bread. Is there any after cutscene? This is a studio logo. I can hear nothing, but you guys can probably hear something because I probably put the time and effort in to get the audio from somewhere else. Thank you for becoming Toast. Hmm. Well, there's only one thing I can think as in response to that. Go fuck yourself for making this game and taking away my music for the ending. Oh, I'm glad this is over. I'm never returning to this game again. If you enjoyed my suffering, then think about clicking that box there to see the rest of these episodes to see how much I suffered. Click that box there to see what YouTube recommends. That box there for something probably better. And that bubble there if you have sympathy for me and want to subscribe to hopefully see something that I'm not suffering for. But for right now, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be good, be well. And I'm never returning to this game again. Goodbye.